Right, I just want to talk to you about the GoPro Media Mod. I made a video about two, three weeks ago when I bought this, all about it, and I think at the time I was quite impressed with its um, small size, the fact it's only a little bigger than the GoPro itself. It just sort of wraps around the case, and it's quite light. So there were some good plus points with the case, so that's why I think initially I was quite attracted to it. But there's been a couple of things that uh, I've noticed whilst I've been using this and I was filming at the Scottish SEC that made me uh, believe it's time to send this back because I don't think it's the product I thought it was. Number one was the microphone socket is on the back of the camera. So what I've had to do is use this little L-shaped piece here so I can attach the microphone so it's sort of not in the way of the camera. So you see, if it's just on the back, the microphone socket's just on the back, the microphone fluffy mic actually gets in the way. So that's number one. So number two is the sound quality that I get from um, the media mod. So here is the media mod using the front microphone. This is the front microphone on the media mod. This is using the back microphone on the media mod. This is using the back microphone on the media mod. I forgot to film uh, using the GoPro on its own without the media mod or a, any external mics. So this is using the GoPro on its own uh, without any external mics. This is the GoPro on its own without any external mics. So it's okay, but it's no great improvement over the standard mic. Number three is actually taking, if I need to change the battery with this, what I've got to do is first of all, I've got to take the light off, got to take the light off. Then I've got to take the selfie stick off. And that's quite, you see, it's quite fiddly there. So I have to go and find something that I can use as a screwdriver. So a little kitchen knife works quite well, and then you can undo it. If you happen to be carrying a kitchen knife with you, um, probably not a good idea when you're in a public place. So. And as you can see, it's, it is fiddly to get this little knurled this little knurled nut out. So now I can disconnect the selfie stick, the short, the GoPro shorty. Then I have to take the GoPro out. You have to remember to put the legs down. So legs down. It's a famous YouTube channel, that isn't it? And now I finally got to the battery on the GoPro. So I'm gonna actually whip out the battery. That is an awful lot of faffing about just to get to the battery. Bear in mind you, you know, you might be, I might be top of a castle and I want to change the battery or I might be at a show or something. All that to change the battery. A couple of months ago, I, I was given this Ulanzi case by Ulanzi very kindly for me to review and I did review it. I thought it was quite good. The only issue really with the Ulanzi case is the weight of it. It's quite chunky, it's a solid alloy, which is good in a way because it provides protection for your GoPro. Which brings me to point number three. With the GoPro in the media mod, there's no protection for the lens here. I actually dropped the GoPro in the media mod case uh, if you can see it there, there's a bit of a scratch on the uh, microphone cover. And that scratched, and it hit the lens. And I think I've got some footage here of the, the damage that was done. Well, I very nearly gave myself a heart attack. If you can just about see that. I thought I'd crack the lens and I was going to ring GoPro and say what on earth do I do because I thought I'd crack the lens and these lenses as some of you know 
are not replaceable but I had a lens protector on it so that little lens protector has probably saved me a lot of money so if you've got a GoPro please 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 get a lens protector what happened was that I've got a lens protector on there and that lens protector actually saved the lens of the GoPro if the lens on the GoPro had been cracked that's my GoPro gone so that's 380 odd pounds down the drain so that case doesn't provide any protection so point number four one of the issues um, I have with this and it's a known issue with external mics if you plug an external mic let's go back to my little fluffy mic external mic into the into the GoPro and you start it filming it's that's called quick capture and that starts the GoPro filming I've had to turn the quick capture off on this um, with this media mod and the reason is known issue external mics don't work properly using quick capture on the GoPro now quick capture is one of the best features of the GoPro you hit the button it starts recording what I have to do to switch the switch the camera on first there it goes it's on it says connecting still connecting screens come on now and now I can start filming so I'm now filming so how long was that it must have been about four five six seconds and I can stop filming let me just try that with the quick capture switched on all right so there's a see that there's a little button switching the quick capture on there's a little button there that switches the quick capture on so quick capture on now if I want to start filming I see something I like, like and I want to film press the button and I'm filming that's it now the problem of course is if I was using an external mic with this rather than the GoPro media mod that would probably be very quiet sound and I noticed that on the first few videos I did at the SEC I was using the quick capture and the sound was quite low once I realized what was happening then switching the camera on waiting for it to start up then filming and everything was alright there so which brings me to my final point about the GoPro one of the best things about the GoPro I actually managed not to put the case on there but normally they, they sort of the door normally there'd be a door on there but one of the best things about the GoPro is its size you can stick that in your pocket and you need to film something out it comes press a quick capture and you're recording sound might not be brilliant but uh, it's only slightly better with the media mod and that's my final point is that this doesn't actually provide I think about 80 pounds worth of improvement and I think that's it and that's why I'm sending this back so GoPro I think you've failed with this I, I don't think it's worth buying which is sad so what I'm going to be sticking with is the Ulanzi G8 5 case which I reviewed link up here heavier case provides protection for the GoPro I'm going to be sticking with the GoPro um, light mod which fits perfectly on there and it's not not too too heavy that's still quite light I've got the Edutage I think it's EDM001 microphone in there I've got the old GoPro media uh, sorry the old GoPro mic adapter the case fluffy mic and the GoPro shorty with its extension and I think that's me and my perfect setup I think I said that before to be honest but I didn't sort of realize it so sorry GoPro media mod no I hope you found this useful if you like it give us a thumbs up or give the media mod a thumbs down whichever you want to do uh, but remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will bring be hopefully bringing you some more adventures on a motorhome adventures type um, 
once we've got the, the shows out of the way. We've got a lo whole load of uh, filming to do at the NEC, so I hope you enjoy that. And uh, I look forward to catching up with you soon. Yeah, see you then. <laughs>